Hello, this is the Kami564 here, and today I'll be showing you the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies Tower of Babel for Richtofen and Dr. Max's. For this is for the Easter egg strategy, so you guys can earn the achievement slash trophy by following a few steps. And also, this is one giant compilation, so you can click on which step you want to look at uh, for both Richtofen and for Dr. Max's. I uh, also have the quotes, what they say in this video as well, so as you know what they are physically saying to you and what you need to listen out for. But without further ado, let me show you the Easter eggs. Step number one, this is for both Dr. Richtofen and Dr. Maxis, you need to build the nav card table. Now, the meteor will always spawn here over at the spawn the plank of wood will either spawn at the tunnel or at the power the radio will spawn either at the um natural and totent or will spawn at the diner and the electrical box will spawn either at the uh, farm near the fridge or at the dumpster at town and once you have, and once you have all these pieces, you'll uh, put them all in onto the nav card uh, location, which is under the pylon. Uh, it, you can't see it, so this is why you need to um, have at least one piece built, and then you can see it, so everyone else to to have built it. Uh, but you'll also get a quote from Doctor Richtofen once you have completed this side. Uh, once you've completed the nav card table. Like so. Ah, that is good! You have accomplished much! To activate the computer, you must have the little nav card thingy, which plugs into the computer thingy. Don't worry, a little red about what it does, the hard work! Just go fight it! If you're going to do Dr. Richtofen, you're going to need between two to four players and an explosive weapon in the fridge, as you're going to need that later on in the Easter egg. Right. For step number two, you will need to withdraw t t 25,000 points from the bank. This is from each player or two players as they're going to try to get the EMP and that is quite a pain to get, which is why it's highly recommended you get 25 grand. For step number three, you need yeah. to turn on the power. No I'm sure you know how to build the power. But anyways, once you turn on the power, you'll hear a quote from Dr. Richtofen, like so. Filthy hellhopper! <laughs> Dare touch me! You've done well, my friend. But this is not a sprint. This is a marathon. Of your group, you are the only one who seems to be able to hear me. So you must convince your deaf friends to heat up the obelisk. Setting a puny fire will not be enough. It must reach an extreme temperature. Now, if only you know how to build a portable engine of some sort, which might go very hard. Hmm. Some sort of jet engine with an afterburner? Oh, what? You do? Oh, goody, goody. So, why are you still standing here listening to voices in your head? Get to it, Schweinhold. Maxis will kill you all. For step number four, you need to build the jet gun. And all the places I'm about to uh, say are in this area, or in the areas I'm about to tell you about. So the uh, the little clock thingy that will be in the abandoned house, the um, the handles will be at Natchda on Totent. The um, wires will be at the power. And the jet gun itself will be at the uh -huh. tunnels no between no Diner and Bus Depot. What you're going to do now is you're going to heat up the nav card using the jet gun. Uh, it will pull you, pull you towards it, but that's why you just need to keep going back and forth. And once you do, you get a quote from Dr. Richtofen. Now we need the one one. That's the only place to get that. It's from the flesh. The flesh! Because that's the one that drives from the undead by killing them. Oh boy, do you need a bunch of it. Get busy! 
For step number six, you need to kill zombies using explosives. Um, so basically, for this step, you basically kind of want to have the either Mustang or Sally, or the um, uh, war machine, or an RPG, or something across the lines that is an explosive or a grenade launcher. I'm just going to throw that extra one in there. But you need to have explosives in order for this to work. Um, because uh, he wants flesh. So the best way to get the flesh is to use explosives and all their body parts just splash her across the map and uh, it doesn't take this it doesn't take much long to do this step it basically takes around about um, I'll say around a round or two maybe three to get it completed but that's it it's also a very straightforward step and I highly highly recommend that you do have an explosive weapon inside the fridge as well so as you can instantly just pick it up and save your ma um, uh, yeah, money um, because the uh, pack punching in this map is horrible and I know this firsthand but uh, once you do have completed the um, that step you'll hear a quote from another quote from Dr. Richtofen like so but now too much power is flowing into the oblet. You must reduce the incoming power by a factor of four. For step number seven, you need to get the EMPs. Uh, you basically need two people with two of them. Um, you only you only really need two uh, because it's it's relatively simple because. Uh, you can do this strategy where you jump onto the uh, lamppost and chuck another one and that's it for step number eight which is the final one um, uh, uh, like us I'm gonna show you two two of what the two people did in order to get the light sparkling um, so this is the second person what he did he chucks the MP you jump down and then you quickly chuck another one and then that's it and once you do, you'll get another and final quote from Dr. Ro Dr. Richtofen, like so. Yeah, yeah, you did it! Soon this beautiful planet will be healed once more. Once the flesh will cover the earth! What a glorious day that will be for you! You will be the hero that has saved all of the earth for me to play with! <laughs> For maxes, you're going to need the persistent jug, persistent quick revive, and two to four players. As his is kind of more difficult compared to Rectofins on transit. For step number two, you need to build the turbine, and once you do, you'll instantly get a quote from Dr. Maxis, like so. Now, for step number three, you need to redraw, well, one person needs to redraw. To uh, twenty-five thousand grand, as he as only one person needs the EMPs compared to two people in the wrecked off inside of the Easter egg. Um, you are going to be traveling a lot in the um, what's uh, in through the fog, which is where you're going to definitely need the Bowie knife to help you out on this. Uh, for step number five, you need to turn the power on and then turn it straight back off to hear another quote from Maxis. Once you turn that off, you'll need to get the EMPs. Um, like I said, only one person really needs to get them. Um, if you have the persistent perk, uh, which is the toy box for both sides, you should definitely uh, have that. For step number seven, you need to spawn in the Avogadro. And once your area has filled up with lightning, this is your chance to um, spawn him in. Now, there's two ways of doing this. You can either spawn him at the farm, at the power, or at the obelisk itself. Now, if you spawn at the power orb obelisk, uh, you got more of you can you can keep one zombie and do it, but you have to lure the Avogadro towards the spire. If you 
uh, spawn in, spawn him at the obelisk, you can instantly get it done, but you'll have zombies behind you and in front of you. So you can choose what you want to do. Uh, for me, I personally wanted to do the luring because I only have one zombie to worry about. And also this is where you'll need your persistent juggernaut and you may need your persistent quick revive just in case a friend goes down because that guy will zap you like hell. No get him. So as, as long as you're like, as he's close to the uh, farm area, you can spawn him in. But once you're there, like, you place two uh, two turbines and you hear a quote from Maxis. So what you gotta do now, for step number 9, is you need to lure the Avogadro to the Spire in EMPM. Um, what you need to do for this is you first of all need to place your two turbines and make sure they both, you know, have got loads of power in it. Because you might, you're gonna need them for the final step, hopefully if they haven't been destroyed. Uh, well you need to place the two turbines and uh, this will power the Spire and to get more power from the Avogadro is you'll need to EMP him. And so you have to do it pretty quickly if the uh, zombies around you, but like that, it is done. And you'll hear a quote from Axis again, like so. So Maxis now wants even more energy. So what you gotta do is you got to power the fire. You gotta power two uh, lamp posts in order for this to work. And this is the straightforward step. So all you have to do is you have to place your turbine at two different lampposts and they shall start glowing and the easter egg has been completed. There we go. You shall hear a quote from Maxis again to show you you've completed it like so. And, and to know if this has worked the two lampposts should be uh, having power going towards the spire and this is for both sides you can now fully enjoy your um uh, your drop which is spawned down from the uh, spire slash tower and you will now have a glowing tower for both sides of the easter but until then guys i'll see you guys later goodbye